In last two videos, I have cover up basic of the SAP basis sizes. Okay, so in uh, we, this video, I have cover up like uh, what is SAP basis sizes and uh, which uh, type of architecture sizes have. Uh, how many users available? What is the DB user in Sybase system? What is the architecture of SAP Sybase ASC? And uh, also the number of uh, basic operations like how to change password, what is default database, how many uh, database available when you install SAP Sybase and uh, some uh, parameters like a monitor config and everything and uh, user and everything so if you missed uh, those videos then i will put a uh, link in description box so you can refer and watch it so now in this video i will show you how to make a backup or we can say how to take a backup of sybase database because nowadays whatever we are using a such smartphone television laptop computer whatever everything require backup system without backup the application is not worthy and uh, we are not trusted because if something uh, lost at that time then only the backup is the option we can brought back our data so now let's start how to take a backup in a Sybase ASA. So first in a Sybase system, we have to check uh, is there any dump available already in system or not. So for this, we have to just take a command which is already I put on uh, right side. So first we will use command sp underscore config underscore dump and then we will press go. So after command, it's showing error like please execute the procedure SP config from master database. So in previous video, I already covered up what is this master database and SAP tools database and SI base MGDTB. So how to access this database? Um, main database of the SAP Sybase, whatever you require like backup operation, if you want to change like some admin related operations or like that, then we have to access master database. First of all, we have to use command use use master it's very simple okay now we will just take a command speak config dump if anything exit then it will show no so dump config no any nothing any show means there is no any script available in this system so now first we have to create new dump file for this we have to give sp underscore config underscore dump here we have just then dump then we will give for basic s and m db it's easy to remember so this is the given name in database you already aware whatever require small dot or whatever it's if we missed it will give error so we have to take care for everything then second at the rate stripe stripe means it's giving a path of directory where we want to save our data then hyphen e we will store our data in e drive sap underscore b a c k u p and forward backward slash then okay then we have to give compression compression we will use here compression level 101 which is recommended by Sybase now what is the compression level if you are aware about computer on laptop in uh, 7 zip win zip win run it's same kind of concept also Sybase database follow uh, its compression level 101 means if we use this compression level 101 then if uh, we have uh, for database size uh, 1 TB then it will uh, back up uh, almost half 50 percent uh, of means 500 GB we have to space then we have to take a go now the change is complete means our config has been saved now we have to check again Now it's showing SMMDB, right? Okay. Now there are four type of database operations in available. <coughs> Dump database SMM means it's based on our SID main database. Then 
these three database whenever you install any system it's already by default come with a cybex system so it is the mandatory and it is the prerequisite so it's automatically created by sap as cybex we will uh, we will have a take a backup of three last three because first one sid backup sid system backup it's a too long so it will take a most uh, more than three hours so for testing purpose i will take a second one now we have to just copy and paste then we will go now for live real time you have to see look this is our path where we already saved file save backup now look if we enter it's automatically start backup file here look this is the file it's already master database complete it's small database then for another example we will take two more file sorry then we will give go again it will show two files here look So here we can already he mentioned like automatically dump file and date and time and how much percentage is complete. Actually, this is a very small database file. This is the reason it will complete in one to two minutes. But if you have a more database or more data like SMO or SID related data, then definitely it will go 100 GB plus 200 GB plus, and it will take a two to three hours. Okay. So this is the create dump and how we take a backup now if you want to change anything in an existing dump then what we have to do nothing we have to just uh, give config and hyphen name db then you have to give hyphen here for easy purpose we just uh, already typed here now we will give here backup one okay then just go sorry in syntax yeah i already told you one time if we something missed here then definitely it will give an error you have to remove this one now it's complete now if we take a backup on this same then it will be given error for testing we'll just it will give error why because we already changed the volume name already sap backup so now for this we have to take a we have to give a name another name <coughs> now if we again run then it will backup Now it will work. Look, this is the file what we create. So easily you can change existing setup and same way if you want to delete or if you want to rename or something then we have to just same name. It's a very simple after one time if you try practice it your home or anywhere it's easy then just give command delete actually sap makes very easy database so it's not required deep knowledge to access this database now if we check you will not find anything here look it's nil so this is the first method how we take a backup how to make a script or edit or delete or whatever okay now if you don't have any saved configuration or something and if you want to directly backup then sap also sidebase also gave option like this is the script we have to just no no this will not copy we will copy this one now 
first we have to give a edit here because we already changed the path name okay now just to go it's already starting look this is the file you can check the time this one so now if you have a question why this option given sybase then why we execute and why we make a script because this option only available if you want to change a path because every day it's not mandatory because in the uh, company or every uh, any organization available then they didn't accept if you change a path every day so if you don't want to do every day then you can follow but uh, if you have some time or some day uh, backup store available maybe some network issue at that time then at that time initially for testing purpose you can use this options also but this is not recommended by Sybase or also we not recommended any SAP consultant too okay so this is the also option we can take it now one thing I want to share with you uh, all those things the Sybase system have one services so if sometime if you are practicing and the backup give an error then first you have to check out backup service is available or not because in Sybase SQL database will service will available but if backup service, uh, service is not available then you cannot execute backup system okay so now I will just give a demo first this is Sybase backup service okay and you already aware how to access services in Windows operating system. Now we'll stop it here. Now it's stop. Now if we take a backup, then look, it will give an error. Look, can't open a connection to the site. It's completely showing the service is not available. So anytime if you face this type of problem like uh, some servicing or related or everything is okay but you can't able to backup or if you scheduled a backup but uh, it's uh, not running then at that time you have to check this option also i hope you like this video if you like please like share and subscribe